Good evening, and welcome to True Encounters. I'm your host, Marvin Allen. Um, this not really going to be an encounter. I just want to give y'all a um, little bit of information um, about um, this text. Uh, I mean, about this. Um, somebody left me a voicemail um, because I had a lot of voicemails, and I, I don't really listen to them, but Early today, I was listening to him, and um, if y'all remember when I told the encounters about the about the young girl, Ty J. Well, her mother had called me, and you know she had left me a voicemail. I didn't even know because I had so many on it. But um, anyways, she had left me a voicemail, and she said that Ty J. has had. Another encounter. But she said Ty J told her, don't tell nobody, not even me. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this encounter that she had. Um, I'm going to just give her some time. But I am going to call her and at least talk to her. Now, if y'all could recall, the first time that Ty J had her encounter... When her cousin left her and she urinated on herself and she saw this creature, she was terrified. She didn't never want to visit her grandparents no more. She said, but when she got older and, and she started having, you know, it's like she said, she started having like dreams of this, of this creature. And when she went down there, you know, after the grandfather had passed. And this same creature that she saw when she was there years before was still there. And it's like it befriended her. It didn't try to hurt her or nothing. And I don't know if these creatures take to certain people. Is it in their bloodline or something like that? But, um... It didn't try to scare or nothing. Anything that it did, it protected her from another rival, a uh, 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 Doug man. And it's just amazing, man, that um, we don't have an answer to everything. We don't have the answers to a lot of things, you know. But I want to find out how come this certain girl can have multiple sightings and these Dugmans it's like they it's like they drawn to her what is it about her I mean why are they not trying to scare her no more if it's anything they getting closer to her and um I mean I don't have an answer to that you know I don't know I don't know why they revealing herself to her a lot lately, you know, because she have had multiple encounters, multiple encounters. Now, from the first time, she ain't never wanted to go back. But now. It's like they revealing herself to her. Now, after that first encounter. I don't know if it's her smell or her urine, but that second time she had that encounter, she said it was the same exact creature that she saw. So what could it be? Could it be they see something in her? Um, could it be that um they just playing a role? I mean, I don't know how these animals think. I don't think nobody know. Because one minute they could be good, the next minute they could be bad. But how can a certain person have multiple encounters with these creatures? And really, it's nothing happening. Because some people, these creatures ain't going to show themselves to you. But her, why her? What's so special about her? Is it her blood? Is it her smell? Is it something in her DNA? 
I don't know, but I really want to talk to her. I really want to find out. Because she said she's not afraid of these things no more. She not. And when I did her last encounter, and she said when that female came up to her with her young, and you know, from what I heard, females are real protective over their offspring. She didn't do nothing. It's like she welcomed Ty J in to see her offspring. She brought them close to her. Man, it just blow my mind, man. It, it messes me up because I really want to find out what it is about this one person that she keep having multiple sightings. And it's like she getting closer and closer with these cryptids. Now, she did tell her mother that it looked like the same group that she bef befriended. The same group. She said, but the offsprings was a little bit bigger. They was growing up. They was growing up to be adult Doug men. She didn't tell her mother everything, but she gave her mother little bits and pieces. But she don't want her mother to tell nobody, not even me. And I could always talk to Ty J. But for some reason, she don't want nobody to know about this encounter. I'm not going to push her into telling me. If she tell me, good. And if she do, you know I'm going to share it with all y'all. Because I want to give y'all the best. Because I know this encounter probably is amazing. Because she done got close to these creatures. How she do it, I don't know. Man, I need some feedback. Of what y'all think it is. Because this young girl have had multiple sightings man. Are they following her? Are they tracking her? Do they know her smell? Her scent? I don't know. But it's like she's saying these things man. And it seems like wherever she go at. Those creatures show up. How? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't have the answers to that. I want to know what these things are. I believe they've been around here for as long as, you know, man, really. I don't believe that there no government experiment because they've been around way before the government. I just want to know what these things are. I really do. But I really want to talk to Ty J so bad, man. Because her encounters, man, the way she tell them to me. At the first time, I know she was scared. The first time, I know she was scared because she urinated. She urinated. And she was hurt because her cousin left her. But this thing didn't try to attack her. It didn't. Why? Why didn't it try to attack her? Was it something about her? Was it a smell? Was it the urine? I don't know. These are some things that I want to find out. And when I get a chance to talk to her, man, I'm going to ask her, man, because Rick said he think it's something within the people, man. He think they got the answer. So when I talk to her, man, I'm going to really find out, man, why do you think these creatures is still showing themselves to you? Maybe she'll know, maybe she won't know. She said, but for some reason. Now, when I gave her last encounter, man, she said for some reason, man, she want to see these creatures. Is she crazy? I don't know. I don't think so. 
But she says she think they here for a reason. This is her words, not mine. This is what she said. She said they really want to be left alone. They don't want to be bothered with us. Basically. This is what she say. Do I believe her? I believe her a hundred percent. I believe her wholeheartedly. You know, maybe I won't never ever see another Doug man, which I don't really care. I just want to find out what these things are, man. And what these things are, how can they do the things that they do? It's just crazy and it's just amazing. You know, now I done got a lot of encounters, man. A lot. I done been on Vic show multiple times telling these people's encounters. And every time I get an encounter, man, and these people ask me, you know, before I give you this, do you believe, man, I believe 100%. Because if I didn't believe, I wouldn't be doing what I got a passion for now of doing. I love doing this, man. I really do. I just want to find out what these things are. Will I ever find out before I leave this earth? I hope I do. I really hope I do. I want to find out the answer. And I'm going to stick with it. Whether I have help or not, but I know I got some good people in my corner that's willing to help me. I'm going to do whatever I got to do, man, to try to find an answer, man, so I can share it with y'all. All All of y'all keep me going. You know, all my subscribers, y'all keep me going. Y'all keep making me go out there and trying to find the answers. Not just for me, but for y'all. Because people need to know about these things. People need to know that these things exist. People need to know that they are out there. And it's not just no fairy tale. Like the boogeyman under your bed or in the closet. These things are real. I believe they are flesh and blood animals. Do I believe they could be killed? Maybe they can, maybe they can't. If you recall, there was an incident up in New York when the truck driver shot one on the side of the highway. He said when he hit him, that thing locked up, fell back and slid down in the ditch. Now, mind you, he didn't go to look. He said he came back, though, the next day. He said there was a car right there, and he asked them. He said, did, um, did y'all see uh, um, anything out here? They said, um, yeah, we seen these two bears dragging this other bear up in the tree line. Come on. Two bears? Bears ain't dragging their prey. They just ain't. So they mistake the bear for Doug, man, because that's what I truly believe what dragged that other Doug man up in there. Was it dead? I don't know. But the man said he believed he killed it. And people always say, man, man, if I kill a Doug man, I'm going to get that body. Listen, and listen good. You got a very short motherfucking window to get that body if you do kill one. They ain't going to just let you take it. Trust and believe. They not. So you got a real short window. So I'm going to do whatever I can, man. Um, When I first do- start doing this Doug Man stuff, you know, and um, when I first had my sighting and I went on, you know, Vic show. And I had gotten so many encounters, man. I wish I knew what I knew back. I wish I knew now what I knew back then. I would have started my own channel. But, you know, Vic has been good to me. He opened up the doors for me. You know, he helped me 
when I got my own channel, man, you know, he, you know, told some of his subscribers that I had my own channel and, you know, that I would be doing Doug Man Encounters, man. So I thank Vic from the bottom of my heart, you know, and I thank him for letting me come on the show and sharing so many encounters that I have collected because I still have a lot, but I still have answers too. I really want to find out what these things is, man. Because I don't think when nobody know what they is. Now, I was listening to this lady one day and she kept saying type one, type two, type three. She said she don't believe it's a type one, type two, type three. She said she just believe it's just a dog, man. They just come in different varieties. So when she said that, you know, I said, you know, maybe she got a point. Because whether it's the dug legs or hominid legs, it's still a dug man. You know, just the legs are different. Sure, they're going to have different looks to them. But I just think it's just, just one kind. Now that you look at it, I don't think it's no one, two, and three. Just think it's just one kind. It's just different kinds. Just like any race of dugs. You know, you got a, a German Shepherd, you got a Doman Pension. Okay, they still dugs. You know, so the one, two, and three, I don't know who made that up, you know. I, so, I don't know. Maybe they sat down and said, uh, we're going to call this a one, we're going to call this a two, we're going to call this a three. I don't know. But, um, like I said, um... I'm going to try to get Ty J, you know, recent encounter because it's something about this girl that these creatures keep showing themselves to her. It, it, it ain't on, it, it ain't just by coincidence. You know, I don't know. Do, no, let me put it this way. Do I think that Doug men follow people? I think that it's possible, you know, but. When it come from state to state to state, the same Doug man, to follow a person across multiple states, if they are doing that, then there's something not right with these creatures. If they can follow a person across multiple states, it's something not right with these creatures if they could do that. Are they more advanced than us? Probably. Then again, I'm sure they are. Because we seem not to get no pictures of them. Uh, they seem not to get no things on trail cams. But um, like I said, give me some feedback on that. And let me know what y'all think. Because I'm getting a call in now. So I'll talk to y'all later.